Hi friends, I am Dharmala Shri from Smart Leaders IS. So next article we are going to see on uh, Feb 4th. In this uh, video we are going to see about two articles which came on Feb 4th. The first one is about uh, evidence based public health policy and the next one is about uh, the progress of India in uh, leprosy eradication. So let us move on to the article now. We are going to see the first one. So what is this article? Look for the proof which came on 4th Feb. So uh, what is the UPSC interested area in this, uh, which, which is related to this article? So 2017 uh, they have asked some questions related to challenges in good governance. So uh, we can expect some, uh, some questions like uh, evidence based public policy which is uh, emerging public policy in the western nations and uh, it, is a, it is our interest maybe. And the next one is uh, evidence based public policy public health policy especially which is uh, related in this article highly evident in pharma price deregulation so we can expect a question from deregulation of pharma policy as well already few questions have asked in terms of a fixed dose combination like that kind of thing so we can, we need to be ready for the for these two areas in in this particular topic so this article public policy making needs evidence based research so what is the crux of the article uh, first one is when whenever the policy comes policy involves so many dimensions the first one is research and the next one is maybe um, poli the research research part and the next one maybe is there any other aspects like uh, who is uh, going to be a part of the policy itself and is there any feasibility will it will it get worked out and the alignment towards any other policies whether it is contradicting to uh, any other policies or it is going to be same and the next one is vision of our government like we are we are uh, focusing health is our priority sector now so uh, this policy evidence based public health policy will be relevant or otherwise and the other aspect is political aspect like populism uh, kind of thing with the ruling parties and all okay so uh, we will see the aspect but author says that it, apart from all other components we need to give primacy to this research part which will give authenticity to our policy and author says that recently uh, NPPA National Pharma Pricing Authority he capped the prices of the stents so not only the stents it is a first attempt they have trying for uh, medical devices apart from uh, regulation uh, regulating of prices for the medicines so in stents it is highly expected that affordable medical care and access to the medicines will come down so that uh, a common man can afford uh, to the medicines like uh, uh, cardiac surgeries and all okay so but what happened there is a, a research paper done by a few um, few group like uh, advomed and uh, acuvia so these two combined and says that only in private hospitals 8 to 18 percent of the reduction of total cost to the patient was reduced but it is not so uh, not replicated in the public hospital why so because in public hospitals stents are already available below than the capped price by the government in 2016 so uh, they are arguing that instead of regulating the prices in in the market you just uh, deregulate the prices of such a, uh, such elements because price regulation will create inefficiencies as of now so it is cited by this uh, report the next um, important element what we cited we expected price drop up will uh, correlate into the access to medicine so from here author highlights so evidence based public health policy needs to be focused because in evidence we are not finding any correlation between access to medicine and the price drop of a medical device and the medicines next one is in author is trying uh, trying to give a solution because instead of focusing on on price regulation and creating inefficiencies and uh, not getting any benefits as the author says that research and trade margin ra rationalization can be tried by the government to give the better care and access to the medicines to the common public so but however some experts are saying that that this report is very yearly because only one year it was introduced that too in the last year 2016 December uh, uh, but we cannot expect uh, two yearly results in a, in a short period of time and that too awareness is not up to the mark so awareness has to be uh, penetrated to all over India so let us move on to the analysis now so if we are not regulating the prices of medical devices and the, me and the medicines what will happen so first point is that uh, Nitya Ayak says quality of medicines and the discovery of drugs will be improved so because Nithi Ayok wants that inefficiencies and the quality, uh, quality, sub quality parts are not allowed here. And the next one is US report says that innovation, profit and future investments cannot be carried if we are focusing on regulation of prices. 
the next one is if we are not uh, afford medicines on time and uh, at high cost the out of pocket expenditure is already high in india and which lead not only that it leads to non compliance of patients that is patients will not come to the doctors regularly and next one is increase in the direct and the indirect cost of in treatment if we are not capping the prices so what we need to do now we are focusing more on uh, jan aushadhi yojanas and uh, which is generic medicine stores and all to uh, create affordable medicine so but there are some concerns in uh, penetration of generic medicines as well because we are not at um, taking the bio equivalence test adequately so we need to focus more on bio equivalence test so that the affordability of medicines is possible and the next one is medical council is saying that there are no drug inspectors so inadequate drug inspectors is also a main reason so we need to appoint more number of drug inspectors so that they can um, inspect on the clinical stage itself and next one is up to the mark in the standard of quality so quality is our main mantra here so so far we have covered uh, without price regulation what will happen in access to medicine so next part is how this evidence based public policy will help in the health uh, health policy here i have told that there are two areas in this article itself one is evidence based public policy and the other one is is access to the medicine and capping of capping of medicines prices okay so now we have seen the part of medicine pricing and uh, we are going to know what is the uh, evidence based public policy so here evidence based public policy involves three stages that is process stage content stage and outcome stage so in process stage what will we usually do understand the approaches so how we are going to do is a uh, basic knowledge will get and in the content stage we will see which area to be more effective i mean while implementing which is the best one we are going to implement so everything is based on the research and everything we are having the data so outcome will be either documentation and which is a potential impact of the policy so without data we are not able to move further and public health policy is highly uh, needs of do- data and the documentation and uh, right from the primary health care to the tertiary health care level we needs data and the data is not here at the present stage so these are the two areas which we are seen in this first article let us move on to the second article now uh, it is about the national uh, leprosy eradication program and its shortfalls and the challenges likely this article is lifted because uh, based on an interview given by an expert person and so we can expect because in india it is uh, 60% of the new leprosy day by day which is uh, getting increased 60% is only because of india so india still a burden of leprosy we uh, so it is an area for upsc as well already in 2016 there are some areas asked by upsc like uh, disabilities rights act 2016 and the programs of wash so we can expect the, here also and uh, this global appeal is a, a target and the program done by the group of group including uh, who so we can expect what is global appeal because there are some countries like brazil india indonesia these are high burden leprosy um uh, countries so global appeal appeal is like like appealing to these countries to eradicate the leprosy leprosy at uh, new cases and as well as the old cases next part maybe we can expect challenges in leprosy educa- uh, eradication because still from our first uh, first fire plan we are focusing on leprosy but still we are not able to eradicate leprosy completely so even though we achieve we have less than 1 per 10000 population in twi- 2005 but we are not still able to eliminate it completely so what are the shortfalls it can be an- another area of interest for upsc so let us move on to the article now so what is the crux of the article article says that india i have already told 60% of all new cases of leprosy and in that 60% children accounted for 9% of new cases so it is so children accounted for 9% of new cases so it is high priority for the government now and the next one is challenges here are twofold one is the medical aspect other is the social aspect in medical aspect like we need uh, we need to try so uh, diagnostic part and the uh, resistance part we are solving the multi drug therapies and all and the diagnostic also we are improving in the terms of uh, new methods apart from the old old methods and um, the next part is social part which is a social stigma part act main part so this, it is still continuing in our country so we we need to f- focus these two areas in order to eliminate and eradicate leprosy from our country so is it so we are not taking any steps 
the article says that we had taken so many steps so that's why we are able to bring down the cases of leprosy but we are not we are not taking steps to eliminate completely so how we can eliminate leprosy there are two parts only thing early det detection and the treatment with multidrug therapy so these are two areas and we need to focus focus and focus and the next one is still awareness among the public is not talk clear i mean the stigma part is still attached to the public and the fear of a uh, spreading is also attached to the public so we need to clear the uh, fear among the public and we need to create more awareness to the public and this one is the global appeal this is the program i am uh, initiated uh, along with the who and uh, nippon foundation so they are aiming for uh, eradication of leprosy uh, by 2018 so what are the steps taken by india so far first one is in the first fire plan they have start including the leprosy er eradication so first one is national leprosy control program in 1955 it was started and later it named into national leprosy eradication program and availability of multi drug therapy which is available in our country from 1982 but it is uh, still not it spread to all the leprosy affected people and the next one is uh, i've already told national leprosy uh, eradication program after we achieved the target less than 1 and uh, per 10000 population we have expanded our national leprosy eradication program and the next one is we signed un resolution on eradication of leprosy in 2010 so we can expect the question from here even a prelims point of view we can expect the question because global appeal 2018 it is con uh, mainly concerning india as a sole burden because 60% of new cases only in india so we can expect uh, prelims and mains as well recent uh, program is leprosy case detection program um, our ministry of health and family welfare launched in 2016 so far we have taken enough steps yet miles to go to reach our goal so what are the way forward we need to uh, analyze now the first one is we need to repeal and amend the laws as because so many obsolete laws are present in uh, still in our law books the example hindu marriage act which says that leprosy is a condition for a divorce so it says that still that is why it is still present in our society as a, so, a social stigma the, it it is a, just one example hindu marriage act there are so many acts are present which is uh, still considering leprosy as a disease leprosy is uh, needs to leprosy persons needs to be isolated and and etc so we need to focus that there is these are persons they need the dignity to live and uh, they need uh, they need the community engagement as well other one is this one repealing and amending elimination discrimination against persons affected by leprosy bill which is pending in the parliament 2015 needs to be done next one is law commission report so this report says that rights and the special rights based approach and special privileges which is highly applauded in mental health act and uh, the maternity benefit act and the and the reason disability rights act so we need to replicate all those things into leprosy as well and the next one is we are not linking disability and the leprosy we need to link these together in order to gain the better efficiency of these uh, leprosy affected persons so our ultimate aim is to eradicate the leprosy from our country it is a true tribute to our uh, mahatma thank you